Welcome to the Michigan Golfer Show. Join us each week as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great game. Colorado Springs, Colorado at the Broadmoor. And with us is the head golf professional here, Mark Calbo. How are you doing, Mark? I'm doing great. Thank you, Jenny. Glad to be with you all. Mark has lots of Michigan ties, but he is currently the Colorado PGA Pro of the Year. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of training back in Michigan. <laughs> Well, just a couple of things, and then we're going to talk about a big event coming. Um, Mark has 36 people who've been assistants for him who are now head golf professionals. And another thing that's really cool is he has a goal of two new golfers every month, which I think is a great way to think of growing the game. So congratulations on that too, Mark. Well, thank you, Jenny. Yeah, I think it's important that we all try to get new people into the game and uh, might kind of take a more personal approach to that. And uh, so it's worked so far. We'll keep it up. Well, one thing is kind of cool. You're going to be hosting the 39th U.S. Senior Open next year. Tell us about what's going on there. Well, we're excited to host that. It'll be our eighth major championship, and it'll be our second senior open. We had the 2008 senior open here, and we had the 11 ladies open, the 95 ladies open being the most recent. So we've had a lot of exciting things going on here at the Broadmoor. So thankful to be in that rotation with the USGA, and obviously it makes our job here at the Broadmoor all that much more exciting. What are some of the things that you have to do to get ready for a big event like that? Well, we hire a management team called Bruno's Event Management that helps us immensely with ticket sales and parking and some of the logistics, the bleachers, so on and so forth. A lot goes into it that maybe to the to the layman's eye doesn't uh, seem all that logical or all that plain to begin with. The other thing we do is we work very closely with the USGA on golf course setup, rough heights, fairway widths, green speeds, things of that nature. So. We have partners in this, and um, we. this is, as I say, this is our third one since I've been here, so we're thankful for those partners, and we'll, we'll follow their heat and uh, work closely with them. Sounds like those are interesting discussions because here you have a resort course, and you don't necessarily want it to be so tough. Well, and sometimes, you know, we have to be careful of that. And believe me, that course in the spring until the Senior Open, which is late June, will play very difficult because the rough heights will be up, the fairway widths will be pretty narrow. And so, yeah, we have to be ever mindful of that. And we also have to be mindful of the fact that we need to get it back to where it's an easier course for the public to play soon after the championship. How about volunteers? Lots of them. We'll have them from every single state in the country this year. And that's part of a, a, what we pride ourselves on is, is welcoming folks from all over. And um, we need lots and lots of volunteers. And you'd be surprised. It's a great, great experience. But it's, uh, we could not run the event without our very important volunteers, that's for sure. Well, the Broadmoor itself is just such a special place. You can walk around a hallway and see a Remington you really want to take home with you. <laughs> and so it's it's a, it's a very special place, but tell us a little bit about what makes the golf special here. Well, we've had, I think, an undersold and undertold history and tradition here at the Broadmoor. As I say, this is our eighth major championship here. We've had some great champions. Uh, Jack Nicholas won the 1959 um, amateur here, uh, one up on the 18th green, Julie Inkster won uh, the 1982 Women's Amateur here. Annika Sorenstam not only won her first tournament and her first major here in the 95 Ladies Open here. And so we've had lots and lots of tra tradition here. Dow Finsterwald, who had a storied tour career himself, who won the 1958 PGA Championship, was our director of golf, head professional here for 30 years. And so the continuity is very special here. We've only had a few of these great professionals and so um, I'm honored to be part of all that and uh, needless to say we've we've got a lot of exciting things that have happened at the Broadmoor and will continue to. And the courses are originally designed by Donald Ross and then 
tweaked by Robert Trent Jones, right? Yes, Trent Jones Sr. added uh, nine holes in 57 and then nine more holes in 64. And so those were added to it. So what we've done is both courses, the East is where the major championships are played. That is a true combination Ross, Trent Jones Sr. design, and so is the West. So they're both, if you played them, if you came out and played them, you'd see all of the similarities. And they're both fantastic golf courses. And one of them you basically tweaked to go back to some of the original Donald Ross design? Well, we actually did both of them, Jenny. Okay. Both of them, have we hired a Ross restoration expert to get them back to where um, where Ross had them originally. And we were fortunate enough to find some old aerial photographs. So we knew exactly um, what it was supposed to look like, including water features and bunkers, where they were, and so on and so forth. And even the shape of the bunkers, how they were contoured. So it's it's been a fun project. And that was ongoing. That's, thankfully, that's complete. So next June, I believe, the U.S. Senior Open will be here, and uh, the days are going to be what? June 25th through July 1. So it won't be, won't be long. They'll be here. Wow. And we look forward to seeing you here at the Broadmoor.